Okay, today we're going to make a hearst. Uh, we're joining the Duckhouse Graveyard Patreon uh, Invitational Build Off to build a hearse. And I'm going to make it from what you see in front of you the Batmobile. Um, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to use the body from a, a Chevy Nova wagon gasser. And I'm going to remove the top and the tailgate, and I'm going to JB weld it to the Batmobile and make a hearse out of it. And hopefully it comes out looking pretty good. This is actually the second time I've shot this video because the first time the files disappeared. It's weird how that happens, but anyway, let's crack this open and have a look. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it along the wings down through the back on both sides and file off the front so that the top part will fit down on there and uh, then we'll JV weld it to the Batmobile frame <clears throat> and the reason I'm going to cut the back of the Batmobile out is because I want to have room for an interior that has uh, a casket in the back of it so um, that's what I'm going for. That's why we're going to cut this. Um, I've seen somebody do the uh, if Batman were a gangster car and they put the roof of a old Chevy on top of it, you know, the whole top of a, another car on top of it, but they didn't remove the interior parts. But the, in this case, I want the tailgate because you need to have a tailgate so that you can pull the coffin in and out. So we're going to superimpose that over the back of it. And we're going to JB weld it all together. So let me get to work taking apart the Batmobile and removing the roof. And I'll be right back. Okay, here's what we got. We got the top off the gasser. I think if I ever do this again, what I want to do is I'm going to cut the side of the car like that. You see that little piece I left there? If I'd have left it all the way back, that would have probably been better. Give me something to glue to. Instead, I only got like the post that you can see right there. I just cut down the side, cut them off. Then I cut the side of the car off right there. And then on the Batmobile, I removed the whole back part of it. Now, this part here has the post in it, and the posts are not going to line up. So what I'm going to have to do is, um, in the base of the car, I'm going to have to drill a hole through the base of the car to match the hole that's in this post on here. And that'll give me something to bolt to back here. And it'll hold the top down as well as the JB weld to hold it all together. And the way it's going to go, it's not going to fit in there right now because I've still got to do some trimming. It's going to fit between the back fins of the Batmobile. I probably shouldn't do this, but anyway. Yeah, it, 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 I can spread these apart, push them back together, whatever. But um, I'm going to trim off the sides, file it down so it'll fit inside the back of the Batmobile. And then um, the front's going to be somewhere like that so I can get a windshield in it. Anyway, it'll go like that so you can uh, get the windshield in it. And uh, then it'll look, like, um, it'll look like a station wagon. So let me get this stripped. I'm going to file the back end down, get it all put together, and I'll be back with some results for you. So, stay tuned. Alright, um, I went ahead and did some JV welding. I got the uh, top adhered to the to the Batmobile. Um, I put uh, JV weld on all the posts, and um, I JV welded it to the back of the car here. I don't know if you can see that on the inside or not. And then I went ahead and I JV welded the, the back window shut because the hearse is supposed to have the back windows closed. As you can see from this car here is the hearse, the back windows are closed and you have the back door has a wind in it. This is a matchbox by the way and I'm not using anything off of it, I'm just showing you. Um, but uh, yeah, I got the top on it. I think it looks cool. I think it looks real cool. The back looks cool. Might have to put a bumper on it because the, the tailgate didn't come all the way down to the bottom of the Batmobile. And then the front end still looks like the Batmobile. 
I can't see you looking in the monitor here, so y'all excuse me. But uh, I think it looks real cool. I got it kind of sanded down a little bit, smoothed out. I'm gonna have to prime it to make sure I cover up all the blemishes from where I was working on it. Cause I beat the hell out of this car. But uh, we got it fixed. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I found an interior. Actually, I lie. I'm using the interior out of this Matchbox first because it has a coffin in the back with a hand on it. Can you see it? So I'm going to make that fit inside of it. I was going to use the interior out of the station wagon, but that meant cutting the back seat out and removing the toolbox and tools in the back. So that would have been meant leveling all that out flat. Not know how that would look so <clears throat> I uh, just opted to use this interior when I saw it had a casket in it. And that's going to be in the very back so you're not going to see it but it wraps around that post in the back of the car right there. And uh, it just about fits perfect just about still got to do some tweaking on it um the windshield that came <clears throat> with the nova gasser uh i cut it up into pieces because i'm going to use the front windshield to go here and i cut it and ground it down so that it would fit on the top of the uh hood right there and then I cut the back sec the you know the back section in half so that I'd have a back window here where the back door is. And if you notice, there's a door line here. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that because it's uh, not supposed to be a door. There's supposed to be a door here and a door here, but <laughs> it's a door in the middle. Might fill it in. I don't know yet. Um, and then uh, the rear window, I cut it out so it would fit in here. And after I get it painted, I'm just going to super glue them or epoxy them in place so that uh, they don't move. <clears throat> and then we'll go from there. Uh, I am going to paint it uh, the same color and I painted a gasser here not too long ago, the last video I put out. Mix it with this blue. This is a shimmery pearl blue. It's called Intense Pearl. Intense Blue Pearl. Uh, and it's based on an old Chevy van. I'm going to mix some black with it and uh, make it look like the um, the gasser black that I did on the uh, Kroger black gasser card that I, that I recently did. <clears throat> I think that would look really good on it as a hearse. So that's where we're at right now. Next step is to prime it and see how it looks. Um, like I said, er, might have to fill these door lines in. That might be the next thing. Just to fill those door lines in because the Batmobile was a two-door car even though it was made from a four-door car so I think it was made from a Lincoln wasn't it and this is supposed to be a Cadillac <laughs> anyway let me get to it all right we got it primered I primered it white because I didn't have any gray primer um, filling all the little details looks pretty good you can still see some uh, Rough spots from the JB Weld. A few scratches here and there. Uh, I don't think you're going to notice once you get that black on there. Um, debating if I want to paint the body, the, the midnight blue, and the top uh, flat black. I'm still debating on that. But I think it looks pretty good like it is. What do you think? Looking pretty sweet, I think. All right. So I got a few other details to work out. Um, been working on the interior, making sure it fits good. Working on the base, making sure it fits good. I had to make a bumper for the base, that chrome bumper. And I drilled a new hole in the back for a screw. Since the rear post is still attached to the roof line, I'm just going to utilize it to hold the back on instead of worrying about gluing it on. So we have... Uh, a bumper attached to the base and a new screw hole. Might fill in the old screw hole with some JV weld afterwards. I don't know. So, yeah, that primer looks pretty good. All right, we got it painted. I call Funeral Home Blue. 
Oh, you can tell that's really dark pearl blue. The top's not shiny because I wet sanded it. It has some trash in it. And I'm thinking I'm going to paint it flat black. Either way, um, once I clear cut it, um, it won't make a difference anyhow. I got some decals coming for the side. I don't know what they call that little swoosh that goes on the side of purses. But I'm going to get one to go on both sides. So we'll see. Um, but that's that's uh, what I call funeral home blue or hearse blue, whatever you want to call it. I just wanted to show you after clear coat, the top did turn out nice and shiny and clean. I really like that, but I'm going to flat black it because that's what you're supposed to do for a hearse. So I'm going to do that next. All right, we got the black top done. Flat black, it's looking pretty good. Got some streaks in the top of it from where I touched it. Um, yeah, I think it looks really nice with the uh, the flat black top. And when I get the decals, they're gonna go right there on the side, on both sides. But yeah, I think it looks really nice. What do you guys think? Okay, we're back. I uh, I got the windshield windows glued in. So we're going to go ahead and put this together and see what it looks like. So that's what we got. Batmobile funeral car. A hearse. Try and keep it in the shot for you here. It's hard to see when you're looking overhead. I think it looks pretty good. I got some details on it. I put uh, some chrome on the back fins and then put some red over that to make it look like tail lights. I painted the back door handle because it is a hearse and the back door needs to open. You can't get the coffin out. I put, it wasn't a handle there, but I put a mark there for the door, even though the door lines show <laughs> that the door is in the middle. I guess I should have filled that in. Same on this side. And then I chromed in the grill and the headlights. Looks pretty good. And it rolls. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, Batmobile. Batman's dead. But it rolls really nice. I also put that little chrome piece down the middle. I don't know, I just felt like it needed to be chromed. Right there. Just felt like it needed to be chromed. Oh, look out! It's the Batman! Alright. We got the decals on the side. Got these from Kenny Terry over at Water Slides Decal. Decals.com. Y'all make sure you check him out. Also check him out on Facebook, Water Slide Decals. Kenny Terry. And uh, have the decals on. Oh, have decals on both sides. Looking sharp, looking like a real hearse. Um, I painted this top three times because I was not happy with the flat black finish. So um, uh, this is uh, my combination: Batmobile, uh, Nova Gasser wagon, wagon gasser. Turn it to the bat the Funeral, bat funeral. What are we gonna call it? We call it the funeral. Hearse. It's a hearse. But um, what I did was I went over the flat black after I applied the decal. Sorry, after I went over after I applied the decals, I went over it with a matte finish. It's got a bit of a shine to it in the camera, but you see, like not like the hood there or the sides. So it's looking pretty sharp. So, tell you what, Batman dies, he got something to ride in, huh? Alright, anyway, I'll leave you with that. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave me a thumbs up.
And don't forget to check out Kenny Terry at Waterslide Decals and Diecast Graveyard. Um, and thank him for inviting me to do this build-off. And y'all have an awesome day. Thank <laughs> you.